Well, that doesn't make any sense. Well, well. I had an inkling and it didn't disappoint me. It was a long voyage to the cesspit, but it's about to make sense. Voltest's killer, live and in person. How are you? Happy and healthy? Can't complain. I am delighted, really. But you see, it's a long way back to Vasima, and I'd rather not dawdle. I lost a load of time looking for you. No reason to waste any more talking, then. Bon voyage. Listen, Jester. You're worth more to me alive. But if need be, I will take you back as a corpse. You choose. All right. Give it a shot. Drop your sword and put your hands together, or I'll not vouch for what... Shut up. Go ahead, try to kill me. No need to fear no witch's tricks! I've got a tongue to What? The Commandant wanted to see me. Leave your weapon here. Guard it with care. It's very valuable. Wait, Wolf. I need to talk to the Commandant too. You going inside or not? Listen, friend. I'm an officer and you're a runt. And when I say jump, you will not only... Come on, Roach. With these cunts, Laredo couldn't protect the port from a drunk lumberjack, let alone Yorveth. He's six. A ballista! The bastard's got a ballista! You know the power of this weapon! Mm. Its arm strengthened with bronze plates and strung with horsehair. It can propel heavy bolts up to a mile away. Yeah, an experienced crew can release two bolts each minute, but it can't hit the same spot twice because it recoils and shifts. I've heard that somewhere before. Where did you learn about Ballista? I knew someone who knew a bit about them. Unimportant. We need to damage it if we don't want to be at Laredo's mercy. They're all drunk here now. I'll provoke the guard. Relax, Roach. I don't want to fight this rebel again. As long as that weapon's operational, no one will sail this section of the Pontar without Laredo's express permission. I'll handle this. Go have a drink. Nothing better than a fireside these feast. These drunkards protect people from the square. <laughs> Except though. a fireside feast with Peasants copious amounts of liquor. <laughs> Sniffing around. I'm plowing to the mix of the rules get any better. Even... Luckily, the Commandant's provided it all. True. <laughs> Come here, lass. Your uncle's got a story for you. So long as he can afford to tell it. I'll not lend an ear for less than ten orans. Sniffing that around one struts like about as struts about as if he were the king himself. What do you need, ugly? Ugly? Well, you ain't exactly handsome. But? I wouldn't worry. Women prefer ugly men to groomed dandies. And you're ugly something mighty. Care for a romp? Can't just now, but I'll find you later in town. What's your name? Margarita. I wanted to surprise my friend, the sad-looking guy by the ballista. Some idiot wanted me to read him poems recently. Extravagance, as I say it, I didn't like it. I was thinking of something a little more traditional. What would you have me do? Just go with your specialty. All right, it'll be my standard rate. Draw him away from the ballista while you're at it. Slap me hard and call me stupid. Trying to put one by me? That'll cost you more. 
How's that? Surcharge on special requests. Those are the rules. Let me think it over. A favor for a favor? There is one thing you could do for me. And that is? Myron and Alphonse, two of Laredo's thugs. Give them a good thrashing, and I'll even blow... I stirred up enough trouble as it is during the execution. No need to stir trouble. Just humiliate them some ways. Consider it done. Myron and Alphonse. Teach them a lesson yet? Not just yet. Nothing better than a fireside feast. <laughs> Except a fireside feast with copious amounts of liquor. <laughs> Add plowing to the mix. I don't like freaks. And I don't like oafish no necks. What do you want, mutant? To try my luck. Arm wrestling. I'm gonna crush you, mutant. Save the boasting till later. Let's do this. Luckily, the Commandant's provided it all. <laughs> True. <laughs> Come here, lass. Your uncle's got a story for you. So long as he can afford to tell it. I'll not lend an ear for less than ten orans. <laughs> You're weak! A lame mutant! Hmm? I'll not show you so much as a... I'll not show you. All right. I'm off to give the boy some diversion. Nothing better than a fireside feast. <laughs> Except a fireside feast with copious amounts of liquor. <laughs> Add plow into the mix and it doesn't get any better. Luckily, the Commandant's provided here it all. Here for a little diversion, True. brave one. <laughs> Come here, lass. I'm on duty. Your uncle's got a story oh, for you. Oh, come on. So Your long as he can afford to well tell it. it having their fun. I'll not let you near for any less than ten orans. You're right. Let's go. Haven't had this good a time in ages. Don't you traits around True. here. You know this one. Don't you traits around here. Oh, you are sniffing around like dogs in a rubbish bin. The list is decommissioned. Let's go see the ring. Laredo's busy with that witch Sheila. Come back later. Geralt, let's wait downstairs in the yard. Yes? Do we wait until the Honorable Lady is done with the Venerable Hick? Waste of time. Looks like a good number of Flotsam's town watchmen are here. We should look around. Did you see that arbalist behind the house? I'll get his attention. Give him something to think about. Why don't you find out what they're guarding so closely? My apologies, gentlemen. I could not help overhearing your conversation. What do you want? In point of fact, it's a matter for the Witcher. I have an offer. An offer? Interesting. I suspect you did not come to Flotsam for pleasure alone. You suspect right. Do you know about the monster in the river? Might have heard something. I expect someone will hire you to deal with it sooner or later. Thus, I presume that... 
Stop presuming, expecting, and concluding. Just tell me what you want. Our honored host is in possession of part of a trap, built especially for the beast in question. Go on. Around back, there's a storage area where Laredo keeps the treasures he confiscates from merchants and travelers. There are heaps of things out there. Let me guess. You know exactly where I need to look. Precisely. I saw Laredo's men carrying the contraption across the garden in a crate. They placed it on a platform by the wall, beyond which lies the craftsman's district. Why are you telling me? Why? We need to be rid of the beast as soon as possible. Good luck. All right. I'll distract the guard. You sneak behind the house. Brilliant as ever. Soldier! Report to me immediately! You're beautiful. I've never seen a prettier ball. Port on the coin, are you? What do you want? Shut it, soldier! I'm respecting you! Flotsam, we cut the hands off thieves. I was looking for the privy. You're lucky the Commandant wants to see you. Come on! Commandant, sir. We called the Witcher sneaking around the garden. Bring him in and leave. Yes, sir. Soldier, report to me immediately! What do you want? Flotsam, we cut the hand. Soldier, report to me immediately. What do you want? Shut it, soldier.
Nothing better than a fireside feast. <laughs> Except a fireside feast with copious amounts of liquor. 
Add plow into the mix and it doesn't get any better. Success. I still need a few things, but you helped me a lot. You'll find me at the market. Best of luck, Witcher. Luckily, the Commandant's provided it all. True. <laughs> Come here, lass. Your uncle's got a story. So long as he can afford to tell it. I'll not let him. You forget who you're dealing with, Commandant. You must think me an idiot. I cannot help myself. You take guardsmen off the streets to guard carpets, fabrics and spices pilfered from merchants. Do you have any grasp of the responsibility that rests with you? Don't teach an old man to piss, sorceress. I've ruled Flotsam for years. Flotsam is ruled by a fear of your death. That fear rules even you. I've made my demands perfectly clear. Like a crying babe deprived of its rattle. In time, Commandant, they'll hang you by the neck from a roadside tree like a regular bandit. And rightly so, for you're no better. Your time will come too, sorceress. They'll pile kindling at your feet. Enough. Fear has confused you. Think over what I said and give your answer before it's too late. Didn't like him from the start. Laredo's storing valuable gifts from the merchants right here. He may be expecting Yorvith to attack. I overheard the Commandant talking to Sheila. I couldn't pinpoint the topic of their conversation, but it seems to me he's angling for something. We'll see what he has to say. <laughs> Except a fireside feast with copious amounts of liquor. <laughs> Add plow into the mix and it doesn't get any better. Luckily, the Commandant's provided it all. True. 